Before I start the video, you should thank me for what I'm about to do. I'm going to try uploading a video about Aphrodite from God of War 3 without getting demonetized. This is harder to do than getting through the spinning blades found in Hades. Oh no, oh no, oh no! No! <laughs> so close! Hey, how's it going guys? Captain Kiwi here. And today I am going to talk about every young man's favorite Greek goddess, Aphrodite. The first time we saw her in the series was in God of War 1. Here she took the role of helping Kratos to take down Ares by giving him Medusa's head. However, in God of War 3, Aphrodite took on a more accurate role, that of giving the player red orbs through a sex minigame. You see her a total of two times in the game, both of which you can receive more red orbs to level up your weapons. But didn't you know that Santa Monica Studios cut an Aphrodite section from their final game? All that remains of this section is the unused audio file. Have a listen. You are so single-minded, Kratos. Do you not have time for the simple pleasures? Go then. Go and conquer all of Olympus if you must. But do not expect me to be waiting for you. You betray me, woman? There is no denying that you are always good for one thing, Kratos. But I will stop you from destroying Olympus. I wouldn't have expected this from you, Aphrodite. You deserve to be with your husband. In God of War 3, Aphrodite was depicted as someone who didn't care about anything, especially Olympus. She only cared about having fun. But from this audio file, we get a different version of Aphrodite, one that actually deceives Kratos in order to help Olympus. This section most likely took place during the second encounter with her. Sadly, nothing visual remains of this cutscene. But from their conversation, it seems Aphrodite betrayed Kratos by bringing in some enemies to fight on her behalf. And after Kratos took care of them, they had this conversation. I wouldn't have expected this from you, Aphrodite. You deserve to be with your husband. That last line, you deserve to be with your husband, refers to the death of Hephaestus, meaning that Kratos was going to kill Aphrodite, making her the seventh deity he had killed by that point. This section was most likely cut due to pacing issues it would have created in the final game. I say this because once you kill Kronos, it's not too long until you fight Hephaestus. If this Aphrodite encounter would have been kept in the game, it would have only been a minute after killing Hephaestus that you had to fight another quote-unquote boss fight. Now, even though we will never see this encounter with Aphrodite, we might see her again in future games of the series. I belong to the group of God of War fans that believes there are still Greek gods alive. These include Artemis, Apollo, Morpheus, and Aphrodite. Whatever their fate was after God of War 3 remains to be seen. So who knows, we might actually have to fight her someday, because we all know a sex minigame is not going to happen in front of Atreus. <laughs> But what do you guys think about this audio file? Would you have preferred a confrontational Aphrodite or the laid-back goddess we got in the final game? Also, do you think we will see her again? If you have any theories about these topics, make sure to leave a comment down below. A big thanks goes to all of my awesome members. People like Retro Completionist, Jabir Abdul, and Mr. Creeper 64 go the extra mile to support my channel monthly. If you would like to do the same, remember to click on the blue join button. I would also like to thank all of my subscribers and the people who watch my videos. Last month we surpassed the record of views in this channel, and I gotta say, it was all you. So from the bottom of my heart, you have my thanks. And with that said, thanks for watching, and remember, go forth in the name of Aphrodite.